Hello, everyone. Today, I'm excited to dive into the amazing world of TensorArt and explore their innovative online LoRa training feature. After clicking on the online training option, you'll be greeted by a user-friendly interface. Here, you can easily upload your data set and adjust configurations for your model. One of the highlight features is the ability to upload up to 1,000 images, enhancing the versatility and depth of your training process. For this demonstration, I'll be creating a LoRa model featuring Taylor Swift. To do this, you'll need to gather a collection of her photos. Once you have these, you can conveniently upload them or simply drag and drop all the Taylor Swift photos into here. While your photos upload, configure your LoRa's parameters. First, select a model theme. <laughs> I'm going with realistic. Next, choose your base model, like XLA or basic models. Next, adjust the repeat and epics to suit your needs. Finally, set a trigger word. For this demo, I'll use Taylor. The model effect preview displays sample images from our LoRa, particularly after the training is complete. It showcases different epochs of the train models. This allows you to preview and select the best one before publishing or downloading. In professional mode, you gain access to advanced options such as setting the optimizer and tweaking the network dynamics. These features offer greater control for fine tuning your lower model. Additionally, in professional mode, you have the flexibility to set the image size for your sample images, allowing for tailored visual outputs. Once the upload is complete, the system automatically generates tags for each image. This means you won't have to manually add tags for individual images. After tag generation is complete, three optional yet useful features are available. First is auto labeling, which can regenerate tags as needed. Batch add label allows you to add one or more tags to all images simultaneously. Lastly, batch cutting is an excellent tool for cropping your photos to the desired training image size. Great. Once you've reviewed your images and parameter settings, you're ready to click start training now. As this is a beta release, please note that the training process may take a few minutes to complete. As mentioned earlier, since this is a beta release, the training process might take some time. You can safely leave the page and return later. When you come back, you can easily find your training history by navigating to this section. Let's wait and see the result. One eternity later. Hey everyone, the training process is now complete after about an hour. As you can see, we have 10 epics just as we requested. You can now download or publish the one you choose. But first, let's select the one that's most suitable for you. Everything looks great. So for this demo, I'm gonna publish this particular model. To publish your model on TensorArt, start by creating a project. You can do this easily by clicking on this button. Now simply fill out this form for the project name. I'll type Taylor Swift since my Laura generates photos related to her. Make sure to select Laura as the type, then add tags relevant to your model. For mine, I'm adding realistic singer and women. Additionally, you can describe what your model does or provide information about the base model in the description section, then set the other options according to your preferences. Great, we're almost done. Now head back to the training section and click on publish again.
Now select the newly created project from the list and click confirm. Next, fill in the form with your model details, just like I'm doing. Be sure to specifically fill in the trigger word and add some photos generated by your model. In this section, add the base model and other relevant information. This will help users on Tensor to see and understand your model recommendations. In this step, you don't need to worry about uploads as they're already attached. Instead, focus on adding some showcase images to highlight your model's capabilities. Great, we've done it. Your model is now deploying on the screen. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So take a break, grab some coffee, and come back to it. Now click run and we'll test our LoRa on this platform. Since we've added recommendation data, it will alert us to use that here. So I'll click on use recommended. After that, type your prompt, adjust any other options to your preference, and then click generate. Fantastic, we've successfully completed it. This demonstration showcases the capabilities of TensorArt's model training. With your creativity, the possibilities are endless. Start exploring now. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server for giveaways and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Happy generating.